Hey guys, this is Ant bringing you another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Uh, and this one I'll be continuing my 2D series and I want to cover um, giving an enemy a health system. So I'll just quickly demonstrate that in the level. So, um, if you followed the previous tutorial about projectiles, um, you'll know that we've got one where the projectile hits an object and it destroys it. In this one, uh, I'm going to show you how to make it so that uh, if you hit an object with your attack, it takes quite. A, it takes a couple of attempts to destroy it, uh, seemingly like the the enemy's got a health system. Um, so without further ado, I'll get into it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a an actor to represent an enemy, and what I'm going to do is rather than creating another sprite and t taking up time, I'm, I want to quickly show you how this will work. So I'm going to use the BP brick actor. All I'm going to do is duplicate it, uh, call it enemy, call it enemy one. And I'm going to go into it, and so that it appears a bit different to the the other actor, I'm just going to ch change it so that it's it's red. Hit compile, uh, drag it in the world, and there we've got something that we can use as an enemy example. So now that we have our enemy blueprint, what we're going to do is we're going to give it a um, system of damage. So we're going to double click into it, and we're going to go into the event graph. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a, uh, a brand new system for it. So custom events. I'm going to put call it damage. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to add an integer on this. Um, an integer is basically represents whole numbers, um, so it'll be easy to type in the damage value. So what we'll do is we'll call that damage n. Hit compile and there you go. So we've got something that we can um, call in the uh, blueprint projectile. So what we need to do is uh, we need to go into our blueprint projectile and we need to we need to cast to our enemy. So go into drag off the executable pin, type in cast to enemy one. And then if you drag off as enemy one, if you type in call function, it should come up with damage. You'll see here that we have um, a damage end value, which we can type in what we want. So I want our projectiles to do 25 damage to the, um, to the enemy. And then what we'll do is just select the destroy actor. And uh, it targets off so that when the projectile hits it, it disappears. Now, the problem is with the um, the executable pins; it can only connect one at a time. Now, to fix this, what we need to do is we need to add a sequence, so that allows us to add as many sort of executable pins as we want. So, we'll drag off zero, drag off one, and what we'll do is we could, uh, drag off the other app to connect that up there. So. Um, in order to test it, I'm just going to use a print string and just say hit, hit compile. Now, I'm going to hit play a second. Yep. So we know that now that the uh, the projectile is hitting the object and it's not interfering with the uh, the original actor we created in the other tutorial. So. Now that that's been set up, what we're going to do is we'll go into the uh, flushing out the health system for the enemy. Okay, now that we've confirmed that our projectile is um, hitting the, the enemy, uh, we're going to set up the, the health system. So what we need to do is we need to go into enemy one and uh, we need to create a variable. So because uh, we're using integer, it's got to be an integer. So what we're going to do is we're going to call that health. You could put enemy health or anything you want really. I'm just going to put uh, enemy health. Hit compile and basically with the integer you can set default value of anything you want so say if you duplicated the blueprint and you wanted an enemy to have um, 200 health or 500 health um, you could do that by just going into the default to the enemy health value and just changing that as well. Um, but because I'm using for an example, I'm just going to use 100, and then I'm going to hit compile. 
Now, what we need to do is, now we've got our health, we need to drag that in and we need to get it. So, when the projectile hits um, the enemy, it'll call this custom event and it'll send the damage in through this value. So what we need to do is, we need to drag off that and we need to use a minus integer. And then what we need to do is quickly swap that there. And then drag off that, set enemy health. And then connect the executable pin up. So basically what happens is uh, the projectile hits the enemy, 25 damage comes in, it deducts it off the enemy health which is currently set to 100 and it sets it to, um, it sets the value to 75. So what we need to do now is we need to just set a condition where the enemy is destroyed after its health reaches zero. So to do that, what you do is drag off the enemy uh, the set here and then what you need to do is we need to put a, a less than and equals two integer. So drag off that and we need a branch. And we need to, yeah, just connect that up there. So the enemy's receiving damage, um, so it takes four hits, it reaches zero. And now we need something to happen when it's um, when it, it basically hits this boolean here. So from true, just going to drag out destroy destroy actor. Simple as that. Hit compile. Now I'm just going to give that a quick test. So so hit it two three four. Enemy disappears. And also, if you wanted to see the damage values as um, you're doing the hits, all you do is go into it again and what you can do is you can actually drag out here and beg your pardon, off the wrong pin, you can just connect this in here and what it does when the, the damage is received, it'll show the uh, the damage value on screen. So I'll just quickly demonstrate that. So you hit play, hit 75, hit 50. That's because of the, the other print still in action, hit zero. So um, that pretty much covers how uh, you create a health system for an enemy um, and basically make it so that the player can damage it using an attack or a projectile. Um, I hope you find this useful and like I say um, if it comes to creating multiple enemies all you do is um, you can click on this you can duplicate it you can create a child blueprint um, using the, the original that enemy as a parent class and it have all the functionality uh, programmed into it okay guys thank you for watching my tutorial I um, hope you find it useful and if you like what you see please subscribe for more